And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Notice that the sound is dampened yeah. in this room of textile. Right, they're soundproofing already, just on their own. Yeah. And uh, as you were mentioning earlier, there is, it's not sh a shimmer, but there is some sort of uh, special modeled quality, not in a negative way, like in a, almost feels more animated to the actions of what's going on. Yeah. Well, especially in these, like in some of their garments, I, you know, it looks like maybe some of the thread might be metallic and picking up the light. Oh, and in the leaves, wow, yeah. But also maybe just some of the lighter colors pick mm -hmm. it up more. Mm -hmm. Wow, the leaves are actually like really intense. Like mm -hmm. it feels like um, almost like Technicolor. There's a lot of contrast. Yeah. Do either of you know anything about unicorns in general? I, I, sir, I do not. <laughs> well, I can't really say much. I mean, beyond what, what we know about unicorns today. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, in my like hasty searching this morning, I was like, okay, just look something up about these tapestries. So I had like some place to begin. Yeah. But honestly, you know, there's not much that's like certain about them. There, it's a lot of hypotheses and speculation. Yeah. Um, which is maybe very nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's we're, we're allowed to speculate about the meaning, and this, of course, like the iconic unicorn tap tapestry, does look like a unicorn that's been caged, yeah. enclosed. Um. I think the only thing I remember is that the narwhal, the sea creature, is yeah. tied to the unicorn mythology because it has a horn that looks like right. a unicorn horn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I really, um, I don't know much about unicorns either. This looks like a, an actual unicorn horn that's right here oh, to the side. Interesting. Huh? <laughs> I didn't notice Good that eye. before. <laughs> It's a, a it's a narwhal tusk. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a gift from Elaine Rosenberg oh. in honor of Alexander Rosenberg in 2015. Hmm. It's the tusk of a narwhal, an okay. Arctic marine mammal, sometimes called the unicorn of the sea. Okay. And okay, so narwhal tusks, believed to be those of unicorns, were safeguarded in churches from London to Krakow. One at St. Denis, outside Paris, was said to have been given to Charlemagne in the 19th century by the Abbasid Caliph Harun al-Rashid, while San Marco in Venice acquired one from Suleiman the Magnificent, Charles VI of France, his uncle Jean, Duke de Berry, and Philip the Good, Duke of Bur Burgundy, <laughs> They all listed unicorn horns among their prized possessions. Okay, and those are like the, the kind of top echelon of Yeah, all these like wealth. very important people. I had no idea narwhal, narwhals were that big. It's kind it's of It's huge. Yeah, it yeah. says they can grow more than 10, or the tusk can grow more than 10 feet in length. Wow. So I don't know how big the mammal can grow, huh. but I wouldn't want to run into one of those in the water. <laughs> no. So this looks like a particularly aggressive scene here with the unicorn either hiding behind the fountain, cowering behind the fountain, and then this whole circle of men. Oh yeah, yeah. So one guy's pointing him out. Yeah. And the, the dogs are probably looking for him mm -hmm. as well. It's the hunt. Yeah. Yeah. Which is to say the unicorn may may be female, we don't know. Hmm. You know? Interesting. Um, but this does strike a oh, note yeah. of terror for me. Right. Yeah. Um, well, and there's this other creature with two horns that yeah. seems to be like maybe rabbit, friends with deer, the unicorn. Moose, a, yeah, a stag lion, or something. Yeah, something like but that. But these dogs in the front don't, they seem like they're... Oh, interesting. This is called the unicorn purifies water. Oh. And you can see that the unicorn okay. is dipping its horn into the water. Huh. Oh. But yeah, they're all hunting for him. And then this it. looks like the... The unicorn's trapped. Oh, yeah. yeah, he has his tongue sticking out, or her tongue, or, I'm not sure. 
which is to say hunting is a theme. So here we have, it looks like these are the initials of the people who might have commissioned it. A, D? Oh, AD right in the middle, yeah. I didn't notice that. Is that on? Oh, it's on this one too. Right in the center. Let's, let's see what action is happening over here. Yeah. It, it's, they become progressively more violent. Oh my gosh. I mean, from this to this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's interesting you consider it a, a virtuous animal, but then to hunt it down and, and kill I guess, it. tame it, kill it. I mean, well, they killed it there. Yeah. Look, the dogs are eating it and yeah. it's bleeding. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So exactly. this one, the unicorn's fighting back. It's, it's stabbed called the unicorn one of the dogs. defends itself. Okay, yeah. But again, why? Yeah, why would you <laughs> kill why that violent? creature? The unicorn is killed and brought to the castle. Hmm. Well, it's kind of like an action movie, right? Absolutely. Yeah. You know? yeah. Mythical beast. People hunting was very much a part of, you know, the the idea back then. So. Right. Well, it's almost like slaying the dragon, but it seems like in this case it's very confused because, like, the idea of slaying the dragon is that the dragon is hurting people, but the unicorn we see him purifying the water back there and I think he would like befriend the unicorn. <laughs> Is that the first image of a woman? Mm, uh, I, I think, think so. All the hunting was done by the men. Um, Although this, there's a woman up there's here a woman too. Here and so this looks like there may have been part of it that's been like rewoven or replaced oh, at the yeah. bottom. Oh yeah, interesting. Yeah, right here too. There's that whole leg and that's true. body of yeah. the dog. At different points, and that looks like it's been done to be somewhat obvious. You know? Yeah, yeah, with the brown it turning into gr the blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The is it uh, the same pattern? Well, again, uh, I, I see some butterflies say. here. I don't see oh, butterflies yeah. anywhere else. <laughs> but it, you know, it, like. It shows the changing approaches to conservation. Right. Do you do it to be invisible? Do you do it to be visible? Mm -hmm. Right. I stabilize the. Right. Or is it like, is it part of the story that this, you know, this was torn when we received mm -hmm. it? So, inst but we want it to be stabilized. So, mm -hmm. we're going to reweave it, but we want you to know that it wasn't in pristine condition. Like, mm -hmm. what's the. Yeah. And here's that A, D, or yeah, whatever, whatever it, might it be is again. AD, uh, well, <laughs> well that's, a new yeah. dominee. Yeah. Maybe oh, maybe, a, but May maybe was saying she thought it might be the, the patron. The, yeah. yeah. It's, it's everywhere. Very. Yeah. yeah probably more likely. <laughs> I think I read online that these were, you know, lost during the French Revolution and then recovered afterwards around like 1850, which isn't really an uncommon story. The mm. Bayeux Tapestry was also, I think it was used to like, transport armaments during the French Revolution. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just like utilitarian purposes. <gasps> oh my gosh. Kind of resuscitated afterwards. Wow. Back to life. They, they can be a bit hard to relate to in general, these old tapestries. Mm. Unless you're like looking really carefully. But for a long time I found them exceedingly boring. <laughs> but <laughs> and then I guess I got hooked. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because they're faded and they're big. Yeah. And they're kind of confusing. Yeah, but they, ha you know, I think the, I think the, the scene, like the greenery and the flowers is what I find myself looking at the most in these, because those seem to have re retained the most light and like contrast. And then, yeah, I mean, some of the people just blend together. But every time I sort of remind myself in my head that, oh, this was woven and this is huge and this is mm -hmm. like just the craft that went into it, then I can stay engaged. Mm -hmm. It's like several generations of people, perhaps. Yeah. yeah.